one hell of a driver, Mr. Buckman. Just the man we need on our team. You'd like to drive for Modern Motors, wouldn't you? Yes, sir. There's stiff competition against you. This race is very important to you, Coy. You understand what I mean? Yes, I understand. If I win. That's right. If you win. I see you've brought a companion with you. She wanted to come. Aren't you afraid she might die? That's what happens to girls that drive with you, isn't it? Zippo, at four goddamn thirty in the morning. You're gonna wake Linda. You want a good car or a great car? Four thirty in the morning. I want a good night's sleep. <laughs> when I'm finished with this machine, all you gotta do is set the dial for a win, and you'll wake up at the finish line. I wouldn't let Cannonball Buckman race in anything but the best. <laughs> hey, step on it, will you? And don't drop it. We want to blow up the crowd, not us. Calm down. Relax. How, uh, how fast is it going to go before that, uh, you know? Well, 160, maybe 165. He, uh, won't be able to open this baby up till he gets way out of town. But when he does, Just a minute, please. Whoever you are, it's five in the morning. Couldn't it wait? Mrs. Schulenberg? Yeah? Yes, I'm Butel Morris. I came by to pick up your car. You see, I want to get a head start so that I can get your car into uh -huh. New York for you by next week. Uh -huh. All right, now, here are the keys and here are the papers. Now, there's no driving at night and no driving over 55 miles an hour. Oh, no, ma'am. Uh-huh. So we'll see you one week from today in New York City at the Mayflower Hotel. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. I didn't know he was, um... Oh, no. There she is. Yeah, only 20 minutes late. Come on. <laughs> God, are we glad to see you. Shake your asses, ladies. Come on, time to change uniforms. Come on, get ready, get ready. Sandy, honey, after hauling ass in that hell's kitchen for six months just so you could hustle up this truck for two itty bitty days, we're ready. Come on, let's move it. You gotta get your suit all messed up. You sit on the curb like that. Well, it don't make no difference. I ain't doing no TV spot tonight. When this is all over, boy, you're gonna be turning down offers right and left. You're gonna be a star. Uh-huh. Hill Billy Heaven with the rest of them dead old boys. I busted my hump setting up this ride with Cade Redmond, and the least you could do is act a little grateful. Mother of Pearl. Are we going all the way to New York in this Cadillac? I'm Mr. Redmond. Well, put her in here, boy. We got fish to fry. 
Car feels like a winner, Mr. Redmond. Thank you, ma'am. My profession. Santa Monica Pier in sunny Southern California. For the last three years, the appearance of this cryptic ad in Motorist Magazine has signaled the running of the Transamerica Grand Prix Auto Race. This underground sporting event is open to anyone holding a valid license driving any kind of four-wheeled land-based vehicle. Contestants choose any cross-country route they wish, and there's $100,000 waiting for the sweat-drenched, high-test hot rodder mm -hmm. who gets his ticket stamped first at a certain garage on New York City's Lower West Side. Most of the drivers show up. TV crew doing here. I thought this race was supposed to be a secret. They're cool. They're shooting a documentary on the whole Good race. It won't be shown until next week. Besides, who do you think's putting up the prize money? Wolf Messer, champion of countless European auto races, uh, let him get his hat on. What brings you all the way to L.A. for a race that might land you in jail and doesn't even officially exist? Well, it is the uh, spirit of the race that attracts me. And also the fact that uh, anyone can participate and anything goes. That makes for a very exciting race. I also find irresistible. $100,000. <laughs> Now here's an interesting entry. You kids look more like uh, surfers than you do racing drivers. Well, the surf's been pretty bad this year. Well, tell me, have you raced this, uh, this uh, Corvette. Uh, Corvette in any other races? Uh, no. Well, see, it isn't exactly our car. Daddy, if you've been watching this, um, everything's okay. We'll be bringing the car back in about a week. Tell me something. Uh, uh, I, I, well, anyway, I sure wish you luck, and I bet that $100,000 is going to buy you a lot of surfboards. If we win, we're going to buy ourselves a house on the beach. In Hawaii. Aren't they, darling? Hi, Dad. Win the race and the money. This is from the kids and me, dear. We want you to drink a toast to your loving family after you cross the finish line. Bye, Daddy. Don't forget to bring me a present. Harriet, everything I'm doing is because of you and the children. We're trying to get a word here with Brad Phillips, organizer of the race. Brad, tell me, your race has been called an outlaw sporting event. Do you have any comment on that? Well, the police and safety officials around the country get upset because our drivers tend to exceed the speed limits. Are you saying you're promoting illegality? Well, no, no, I didn't say that. Sir, have you seen this? They're doing it again. They're in for a surprise. If they're racing anywhere, they're going to race to the impound lot. Yes, sir? Get me Brad Phillips on the phone and tell him it's the district attorney. Tell him we're entering his race. Then get me the highway patrol. Sandy, take the detour. S Sandy, please. Oh, no. Sandy! Don't do it. I'm going over it. You made it. <laughs> well, I'll be dipped.
couldn't pass up this damn race. Consider yourself busted. Don't give me that crap, Linda. Do you know what happens to parolees who cross state lines without permission? I don't give a damn about that red tape. My brother put up $6,000 for his car. I got a chance to win with it. My whole future's at stake. One speeding ticket, and you're back in prison. That's our future. Coy, you know how I feel about you. I've never pulled rank on you before, but I am legally responsible. That's a technicality. This race is my last chance to get my career back together. Oh, face facts, Coy. Your racing career ended when that girl died. Excuse me, Coy. Just wanted to wish you good luck. Well, Mr. Hooper, this is my friend, Linda Maxwell. This is Kim Hooper. He's the Hi. manager of the Modern Motors Racing Team. Pleased to meet you, Miss Maxwell. We could sure use a man like Coy on the Modern Motors Team. Yeah, what about my competitor? I'm gonna wish him luck, too. I expect one of you will be driving for me next year. You two gentlemen know each other, don't you? Mr. Redman, Mr. Buckman. I believe we've run into each other once or twice. Got amnesia about that cheap shit you pull in Darlington in 72? Well, here's a little piece of information for you. I mean to win this one. And if you so much as come within 100 miles of me, you're gonna wind up in my tire tracks right up your ass. There goes your competition. Got so mean, I better get the jack off in the morning, get his horse started. First big race after we got out. Not on your life. Linda? Hey, what are you doing here? Benny, will you talk some sense to him? I gotta go, Benny. Great. You're gonna give me a shot. Thanks. Listen, if you think I'm doing it's just to get into heaven, you're wrong. I got a bundle bet on you. You are gonna win, ain't you? I will if you get your head out of the window. <laughs> I love you, kid. Good luck. <laughs> Phillips, your race is over. This is an injunction. 
race. What race? Guts under the hood than yours does. They're exactly the same. I guess this must be your idea, some kind of a joke, huh? Hey, I don't promise I won't outdrive you, though. Cannonball Bugman is gonna win this race with or without you. <laughs> Even my hat. Hello, you turkey. Wait a minute, Coy. No fair going over 55. I think the police have their eye on you. That was my best friend, but he's crazy. Coy, you're really not going to make me drive all the way to New York with you. No, I'm not. You're my security in case we run into the cops. Somehow, I am going to have to explain this to the board when we get back. Yeah, they'll love it when they hear about your method of rehabilitating. No, no, nine, 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 nine. I beg please to accept this abort. Abort, abort. Oh, that's it. Yeah, very good. I'm very pleased to accept this vault. Jesus Christ, I can't say that word. I think of something else. <laughs> I got you, Doom Cop. <laughs> yes. I can't do it, Benny. You're not good for it. You know it, and I know it. What do you mean, Lester? I set this deal up for you. You're gonna make a fortune. Well, no, Cannonball can't lose. There's only one serious threat, and I got shot taking care of him. Yeah? When is the blessed event to take place? When he hits 165. Out in the desert someplace. I, I even bribed those two TV guys in the helicopter to keep tabs on the other drivers in a race. You know, just in case somebody gets moving a little too fast. So, uh, what do you say, Lester? You cover me for the 50,000? Oh! How I hate to say no. That isn't Cole Porter, Lester.
Kopf und der Watze durchgezogen. Ohne Kaser, Eiskatz. Hello there. Nice to be spoiling you have. Maybe I can't see in the end of the race if you can catch me, don't cough. <laughs> your luck, asshole. Gonna get me a little red meat. <laughs> I'm not afraid. 
There's no reason for me to change cars. Well, you'll be safer with Zippo. Yeah, but I'm in it now. And I want to see it through to the end with you. Jesus, man, what the hell's happening? I saw Redmond running belly to the ground back. Your turn to play cavalry, man. Redmond's trying to cream my ass, so we decided that Linda better keep company with you for a while. Boy. Please. Hey, listen, I'm always willing to come to the uh, assistance of a damsel in distress. I'll tell you what, Coy, I'll uh, trade you my magic hat for the lady. <laughs> Beauty again. Mm. I can take care of this rookie. Oh, I think he's cute. Hey! Hey, what's happening? Hey, that was nice what you girls did to oh. me back then. Now I'm gonna give you one more chance. You want a souvenir this week? Yeah, give me a souvenir. Yeah. All right. Come on now, what y'all got over there for me now, huh? Come on, you got that. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Oh! Are you sure you want that? You really want it? This one. You really, really? Ah, Six months. Do I look like a boss late to you? No, Lester. No. 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 Nothing. Hey, Lester, you know we got a lot of money riding on this thing. I'll make you so sure Benny's gonna deliver our winner. I gotta go back on my time. This stuff is great. Hey, I'm gonna tell you something. You look very good fat, you know what I mean? It does something for you. I'll tell you something else. That creep is running for it. Don't Benny know what's gonna happen to him if his brother don't come in first? Fellas, huh? listen, I'm gonna talk to Benny in St. Louis this evening. You're gonna do that. If his brother's still behind, I'll lean on him a little bit. Don't worry, you got nothing to worry about. Cannonball Buckman is gonna win this race one way or another. Come in, Hawkeye, this is Control. This is Hawkeye, we read you, Control. How's my boy doing? Cannonball? The German is way ahead of him. So is some guy in a 71 Dodge. Plus, he's getting some serious competition from the other Red Trans Am. Uh, uh, wait a second, the other Red Trans Am? Yeah, some clown in a baseball cap. If your boy doesn't get a move on, he can kiss the prize goodbye. Well, Sharp, it looks like you get to do your number after all. Well, yes, Jay, I would have to say that this great sporting event is the most thrilling and, I believe, truly inspired uh, uh, occasions of which I have ever been partook. Uh, uh, in consequence of which, I have written a song called My Racing Heart, which has been suggested by this momentum race. Okay, all you KMAX listeners, we got Perman Waters for you now with a special live performance of his rapidizing new hit song, My Racing Heart. Take it away, Perman. I've been planning for months just how I can win. Uh oh, Perman. Mr. DJ, don't stop the interview. Nothing's wrong. We're just getting a little static. What, uh, what's going on with... Take two! Okay, listeners, you're hearing it first on KMAX. Over the hits. I've been planning for months just how I can win this. Oh, 
this is a very beautiful country. Reminds me of Bavaria. Just think, Wolf. We had won the war, this would be Germany. Pity. Pity. on that 10 4. me that this wouldn't be broadcast until after the race was over now, didn't you? Absolutely, you have my word of honor. Damn, it's a fan belt. Let's get it to a gas station for the damn thing breaks, huh? Come on. I'm pounding down that street. To you. The others fall behind. Their spirits say, I'm out in front with a heart that loves you true. Oh, darling, please give me that checkered flag. So I'm racing across the nation, and all I want to win is. For love, it's the kind of
Son of a bitch. Where the hell? Red. About. This one's just about had it. Oh, I'm sorry, mister. I don't carry anything like that. You'd have to go to an auto supply place. Well, you got a piece of tape or something I could use to hold it together till I get there? Yeah, I can give you some tape. Don't know how long it'll hold, though. Where's the nearest place where we can get a fan belt? Oh, about 200 miles. You can't miss him, Shaw. Whoever is, he's driving a Trans Am and he's alone. You want me to delay him for a little while? Or delay you? shit. I want him out of the race, baby. Consider him dead. That's Denver over there. That's uh, Kansas City. Let's call that uh, St. Louis. And over there is uh, the Big Apple. Fun city. Fun <laughs> Terry. This way, oh dear. He always said it wasn't fair that he had to report to my office. So one evening, I reported to his place. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I know. It was supposed to be a joke, really. Except nobody laughed. <laughs> and here we are. Yeah. You've been Coy's friend for a long time, haven't you, Sue? <laughs> sure, yeah. We grew up together, went to the same school, learned to drive at the same time. <laughs> First time I got drunk, I was with Coy. First time I, uh, you know, got laid, I was with Coy. On a double date. You know, people used to say I look like Coy. Really? I used to comb my hair different then. Oh. I guess that made all the difference. Yeah. Zipper, were you in the car that night the girl was killed? Sure, I was there. <laughs> I was drunk out of my mind. I mean, gone. <laughs> I could hardly keep my hands on the steering wheel. You were driving? Yeah. Then why did Coy say I don't know. You'll have to ask him. Zippo, why did you let him? I don't know. I guess I owe him one, huh? Yeah, me too. Trying to keep up with the flow of traffic. Turn around. Officer. Put your hands on the roof, please. Spread your arms in the roof, please. Spread them a little uh, wider. 
Atta it's all boy. about. You want to step now. your legs back a little bit? That's good. Just relax. Hey, look. Stay right there. Just routine. Just a routine procedure. What the hell? <laughs> You're no cop. Who are you, huh? Friend of Cade Redmond's, huh? Lightweight. Yeah. You fall like a bull. Wait a second. Uh, did he have short blonde hair about my color? Stand about 6'1? Yeah. You moron, that's my brother Coy. No wonder you got your chops busted. I'm the moron. I'm the moron. All right, Chop, you ain't no moron. He was alone, goddammit. He was driving a red trans -im. I sure hope you didn't slow him down too much. Uh, uh, and slow him down at all. <sighs> This is Hawkeye calling command. You read me, command? Uh, yeah, this is command. I read you, Hawkeye. I've got that lineup you asked for. Okay, let me have it. About 40 miles up the road is the other red trans am making very good time. Cade Redmond's in second place, holding his own. And then comes your brother and his trans am moving up fast on old Cade. Brother's in third place. Yeah, sorry about that. Then comes the all-girl team, about uh, 30 miles back. And then hot on their tails is the black guy in the Lincoln. You better catch the next flight to St. Louis. Alright. We got intercept man to sound about changing this lineup. Oh now, Mama, I'm not kidding. I think we ought to cut this crazy sucker loose. I mean, I can't believe you let him stop for more beer. I mean, he's already driving like a scalded dog. Never mind. I got a better chance to handle him if he's pie-eyed. The front seat don't know it, but the back seat is still pulling the string. Well, I hope so. <laughs> There's trouble. Ah! Best damn vitamins there is. Better than spinach. Better than fur burgers. Better than possum. Better take some, you might need the energy. Oh, thanks. I just got a little light work to do.
That Buckman boy's gonna be on our tail like stink on shit. <laughs> your license, please. Oh. Out of state. I'm sorry, but you ladies will have to come back to town with us and post bail. Oh, gosh, officer. Uh, will that take very long? You see, we're kind of in a hurry. Oh, you're <laughs> telling me. Uh, officer, couldn't we pay the fine right here? You want to? No, I'm afraid that just wouldn't be oh, possible. Oh, we wouldn't mind paying for anything we might have done. No, no, we have to take you back into town. And, oh. Uh, Lynn. Huh. Uh, look, since these ladies are technically under arrest, I'm going to accompany them back to town in their van, and you take the car in. No, I'll go with the girls. You, you drive. No, Lynn, just do as I say. It'll work out better. I mean, no, I know no, what I'm no, doing. No. Lynn, I have been on this force three months longer than you have. I You're have ass, to... Junior G-Man. Now, wait just a oh, goddamn minute. God. Do you recall the... There's no problem. Just follow me. Times will find with us the men they'll be alone on the shoulder. And science have always told him they're on both sides of the road, still on his shoulder. But he don't mind to say that he can handle all of this in good time someday. He's just a man like any other man. He likes to win when he can, but when he can, then it's still all right. He's got to do it all over again. It's still all right. It's going to work out. It's still all right. Whatever comes about, just say it out loud. And it's still all right. Never wanted any favors and giving up his words he never really understood. Then turns around and shows a love for all the friends he had for years and know they understood. And the girl he can't forget, the one who stood beside him from the moment that they met. He's just a man like any other man. He likes to win when he can, but when he can, then it's still all right. He's got to do it all over again. It's still all right. It's going to work out. It's still all right. Whatever comes about, just say it out loud. 
and it's still all right. Hello, Benny. Look, Lester, I... You're late, Benny. I don't like tardiness, and it seems to run in your family. Your brother's not winning. Look, Lester, I'm taking care of it. I don't want to hear it, Benny. This, this is not the I answer. I don't want to Lester, hear it, Benny. This is... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sincere, I say. I'm sorry that it ended this way. Everything looked so fine at the start. I never dreamed that you'd break my heart. I'm sorry that I'm hurting you so, but sometimes that's the way that it goes. You let me down, you made me so blue, but now I know that you're sorry. Terrific, Lester. Benny, what can I say? You see how upset we get when your brother runs behind. Think what might happen if you were to lose. Cannonball, fuck me! Aren't you the guy who took a bite out of A.J.'s ass in the 72 Darlington? Jeez, that suspension looks like it fell off the Empire State Building. Hey, you know all that stuff we've been listening to on the radio about outlaw race and cops and trucks and shit? Him, dork face, he's running in it. You're the outlaw racer! Jeez, it's a real pleasure, Mr. Cannonball, a real pleasure. Uh, the car's uh, all wrecked up. What are you going to do? Not much you can do. Guess you boys got some bright idea. You could sign your pink slip over to us and fire our car. Yeah? What do you got, a hot tractor? Uh, why don't you come around the back and find out? Why not? It ain't a Maserati, but it ain't bad. This? You're kidding. Flash, paint, pipes, trick stuff. That is a racing machine. This, this is a cruiser. <laughs> cruiser. <laughs> Six months of work on this. Cruiser we call it. Hey. Some kitty car, running down. 427 block, 600 ponies, Dyna Jet Holly Pot, Vertex Mag. Let's see, four speed mixer. Probably does 100 in a second. Mm, maybe it ain't as good as what you had. Sure beats hell out of what you got. What's in it for you? Look, Mr. Buckman, this burg is so square, people think the Avon lady's a movie star. If Cannonball wins the Trans-American Grand Prix in our car, we're gonna be two heavy dudes. But you gotta say our names on TV.
we doing, honey? According to my calculations, we're coming over the Rockies. <laughs> Fire racing fuel is high octane desire, and my engine is my uh, lonely love. Hey, jockey breath, I'm trying to find out about the red Trans Sam. I can't hear nothing you bellowing like a dying calf in a windstorm. Well, now, folks, uh, I'm hello, sorry about all that Robin static Hunt. in the background, I, uh, but, I, uh, but why don't you good people you just turn your crystal sets up and we'll try it again a last, little louder. Uh, I am racing cross a nation. That's for throwing my damn gun out the window. I'm gonna have to hurt you now. And I'm gonna help him too. Both of you couldn't wake me up if I was asleep. Boy, what a lot of shit this is. Don't we have something else? What about that car race? We promised those guys we wouldn't broadcast that story until the race was finished. I bought them. I can sell them. The public has a right to know. Feel her up. Yeah, I... What the hell are we gonna do now? You got another broadcast in 15 minutes, WKVY in Chicago. Well, I don't know. We're gonna have a little peace and quiet. Goddamn, now, that's what we're gonna do. Or... Thank you. Father, what are you doing? Where the hell are you going, boy? Well, that girl in that car over there's got a guitar. Excuse me. Uh, now, you folks probably wouldn't recognize me out from behind my guitar, but uh, I'm Herman Waters. Herman Waters? Well, we were just listening to you on the radio. You know, I really like that song. Oh, why, thank you. Why, thank you. Now, you see, that's uh, just the thing, darling. You see, I had a little mishap with my own guitar about half an hour ago. Just sort of fell out the window. Unless I can borrow another guitar, I'm not going to be able to do any more broadcasting. You were at the starting line back in L.A., weren't you? You in the race, too? Uh, yes, we are. We are surely in the race. Mr. Waters, I'd be delighted to lend you my guitar. Oh, that's wonderful. You can give it back to me when we get in New York. I will. Now, darling. Yes. Now, sweetheart, you may just conceivably have saved my career. See, I'll bet she's sweeter than a stump broke cow, huh? So long, folks. That was Herman Waters. You mean it's just on the radio? Yeah. Now, your next section up here is a real speed trap, and the judge is not a pussycat, so be careful. You know, we had us a real speed wagon in here a while ago. What kind of speed wagon? Shiny red uh, Trans Am. And man, that mother was moving. Grandma, God damn it, will I land in jail? Uh, Briar Tuck, Briar Tuck, this is Robin Hood. Uh, do you copy me? Over? Yeah, at the end four. You got Briar Tuck and his merry men. Uh, how's it hanging there, good buddy? He's been waiting here for me all night. Uh, was thinking of coming down there to meet you, except with the loaded Karate Walk, okay? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm feeling fair to milling myself. I tell you what, I'd feel a lot better if you boys would ride out and uh, give me a hand with a little faggoty ass by the name of Cannonball Buckman. Been trying to run me off the road. Yeah, 10 4. We'll definitely blow his finals for him. Uh, give us a 20 on that, Cannonball. He's a driving a red Trans Am with yellow trim and the blue stripe down the middle. California license plate. Yeah, 10 4. You got Fire Tuck and his very men. We're definitely 10 27 to the rendezvous, and we're out and gone. Zippo, who is that? That's Coy they're talking about. Try to get him on the radio. Breaker, breaker, this is Zippo calling Coy. Do you read me? Coy, this is Zippo. Do you read me? <laughs>
Guess what? Those are the gorillas waiting to trash Coy. Zippo, they'll think this is Coy's car. Sure. <laughs> this is Coy's car. I'm going to be Cannonball, and you can be Zippo. After you, Cannonball. <laughs> Okay, fellas, come and get it. <laughs> okay, you turkeys. You should have seen police ladies, Bruce Lee, routine. Oh, yeah? Something I picked up at a police rape clinic. What's been going on around here, anyhow? We heard Kate Redman on the radio. He told him to trash you. Oh, I get it. Those bastards thought you were me. Hey, man, don't you get it? I am you. I got the red Trans Am, I got the clothes, I even got the girl. All you got is the baseball cap and those weird low rider wheels. Where the hell did you get those? You're the mechanic. You check them out, huh? Coy, Zippo told me he was driving the car that night the girl was killed. Why did you tell me it was you? Zippo could never survive in jail. Let's just say I was doing a friend a favor. Coy, I want to drive with you from now on. I'm worried about Zippo. He doesn't really know he is anymore. Stay with him and watch him for me, Linda. If we leave Zippo alone now, there's just no telling what kind of trouble he's going to get into. The race is almost over. It won't be long. You know I'm not his keeper. Hey. You know what's the first thing I'm gonna do when we get to New York? Huh? Yeah. Run a hotel room with a king size bed. <laughs> hey man, I got some bad news. Somebody punched a hole in your gas tank and she's leaking pretty bad. Can I help you? No. You, you take my girl and get the hell out of here. And I'm warning you. As soon as I get this thing fixed, I'm gonna be back in the road and old cannonball is gonna be passing you like you weren't even there. What do you mean? I'm old cannonball now. Oh. Come on, Linda. Happy Highway, Zippo. Hey, darling. Hmm. How about if instead of uh, buying a house with the money we win, we were to invest in a political campaign and get me elected mayor of Santa Monica. I mean, all the kids would vote for me. Sure. Okay. Sure, then you could run for governor of California. And if I win that, I could run for president of the United States. That sounds pretty good. Well, we could buy a house anywhere we want if we were president and first lady. Don't you think you ought to try for something small first, though, like dog catcher? I'm only kidding you. I back you up. You want to be president? Careful! Hey, look at that. Oh, no.
play it and hold out for one more hour. I don't know where we're going to find a fan belt this time of morning. Well, I guess we haven't got much choice. We might as well check out that shopping center over there. Hmm. Let's face it, the only way we're going to get a fan belt around here is to steal one from one of those cars. What do you think? We could leave them some money. And I know it explaining why we had to do it. Okay, you write the note. Shall we uh, try the yellow car? I'll check the doors. Locked. Hey, Senator. Yeah. How do you spell reimburse? R E I M B U R. R E I M B U R S E. U R L E. Yes, she. Uh oh. Hi. Good morning. What's going on here? Well, my battery died, and um, this young man here was kind enough to try and help me start it. What are you doing with the crowbar? Uh, my hood release is busted, and this is the only way I can get it open. Here, let me see that. Fix the drain. You got a jumper cable? I uh, have one in here. Here you go. All right, now you get that battery charged up. You wouldn't want to be stuck out here again. You might not be so lucky next time. <laughs> You're absolutely right. I will. Thank you very much. Pleasure. You have a nice day now. Thank you. Hey, that was pretty fast. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You think he's going to be back? Well, not before I get this on, I hope. You think five dollars is enough? Uh, yeah. Just got to tighten this thing up a little bit. That's this. Quick, get in the car. Oh, what are we going to do? Uh, you, you're going to drive. Me drive? All right, buddy, hold it right there.
10,000 smackers them humpies put out for you. Now. to a hospital quick. Ourselves a motel and get a little rest. I've had the course. Jim, we've only got a few miles left to go. Let's finish the race. But the race has been won. Bet we wouldn't come in last even now. Come on, think of your political career. <laughs> well, how would it look you quit in a race right before the finish? I suppose you could give me a little something to keep me awake for another few hours.
Hey, put on your uniforms, girls. We want to look our best at the finish line. Surprised they can't be the first ones. Where is everybody? Folks, according to my sheet, this is Mr. Terry McMillan in his blazer. Congratulations, Mr. McMillan. Thank you. Thank you. You mean we're first? We made it? I knew we'd make it. It was a long, hard race, but we had faith in ourselves, and we just kept pushing all the way, didn't we? All the way. I think uh, some champagne's appropriate. Oh. I think I left it on the plane. <laughs> You've been listening to it all across the country as Herman Waters raced over this America of ours. Herman Waters and my racing heart. I've been planning for months just how I can win this race. Yes, I'll have a rival or two. I know that I must finish in first place. Cause second best Ain't best enough for you On race day The sun comes up like fire I'm ready for the green flag at the start My racing Sandy, if you don't know, ask somebody She doesn't have to ask anybody, I know where it is Make a left and go straight up Ninth my Avenue. Engine is my lonely, love lorn heart. So I'm racing across the nation, and all I want to win is your love. It's the kind of prize a man could be proud of. I'll keep driving, driving, driving. I don't know what else I can do Till my racing heart drives me home to you I'm pounding down that straightaway to you Oh, we're never gonna get there in this traffic You better cut over to 10 10th is one way up town, stupid. You better take 7th or 11th. Both would stink. They couldn't stink any more than this. Jesus, will you girls shut up? For the hair of winning this race. Oh, darling, please give me that checker. I know you can do it if you want. What happened to your car, kid? I totaled it. Does that mean I... No, get in there and stamp your entrance ticket. You are about to win yourself a race. Mr. Buckman, tell us how you won the race. I don't know. I drove fast. Hey, look, lady, with that stuff, will you? We ain't won a race until we get that ticket stamp. Well, I got it here someplace. Oh, how did you avoid the big pile-up cannonball? What pile-up? It was nothing. A couple of cars on the Jersey Turnpike. It was really nothing. nothing. You called 17 people in the hospital nothing? <laughs> it started with the red Trans Am. We thought it was you at first. Well, Linda and Zippo were in that car. Benny, what the hell's going on? They're fine. Come on, will you? I saw the whole thing from the copter. I'm afraid the driver bought the farm. Somebody picked the girl up. Must have taken her to a hospital. What hospital? St. Paul's, Glenfield, New Jersey. How do I get there? Coy! Please. Benny, the hell is it? Just, just stamp the ticket, will you? Come on. Be nice to your brother. I busted a lot of asses for you today. Who's asking if you bust for me? Yeah. Yeah. Forget it. Stamp the ticket. We'll go find Linda and Zippo. Benny, it was you that blew up the German driver, wasn't it? I stamped the goddamn ticket. You haven't won a race. Stamp the ticket. I've won the race. Coy, this is important to me. 
It's not just the money. My life is on the line. What are you doing? Keep this as a souvenir of Zippo. If you want it stamped, stamp it yourself. How do I get to the hospital? Come on, Coy. I'll take it. We got a lot to talk about. Well, Benny, you and I have a lot to talk about, too. Let's conduct Mr. Buckman to my car. Boy, two nine winners in a row. Yeah. Some race. Wonder where all the other cars are. Maybe we got second place. What? Why? What? What? We come in third? Fourth. You are the winners. Congratulations. You kidding me? Kid, that, I, we won. We won. This race. We won. Hey. We won! Some room you got. Sorry, Cannonball. They didn't have anything in a king-size bed. Oh. 